Hey guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be a wardrobe clean out, wardrobe cull, whatever you call it. And also just kind of like a closet tour. I feel like I've never done a, I don't think I've actually have done a closet tour. So it's just going to be all that combined into one video. Um, yeah, but before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So I always like to do just closet clean outs every now and then, a couple times a year, and especially in the summer, just because in the summer I literally feel like I have nothing to do. So what like better thing to do than to go through your closet and see like what you can donate or what you can make money off of, you know? And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Also, I know I've had a lot of haul videos lately and a lot of you guys have been like, so Sydney, are you giving up on being a minimalist? And the honest answer is I've kind of strayed away from trying so hard to be minimalist because it is very hard for me. I like clothes, I like fashion, I like to have lots of options, but I'm trying to get back on like that path and figuring out my own meaning of minimalism um, just because I think that it is a really good lifestyle to live you have less things like physical things and then so you feel like lighter and I really like how I felt when I was trying to be minimalist so I want to try to get back into that more because I feel like I kind of kind of forgot about it kind of just left my mind a little bit but I'm, I'm getting back and that is also what is going to help me with cleaning out my closet. So when I clean out my closet, I like to look at what I haven't worn in forever. And I will share my tips and everything for that when I'm actually cleaning out my closet. But yeah. And I like to look at the pieces of clothing that I own. And like if they fit me weird or just like something, maybe they have a rip in them. Then I'll be like, do I really need this? No. If it fits me weird, then that's probably why I don't wear it. So, goodwill. You know? Um, so that's kind of what I like to think of as I'm cleaning my closet. How old it is. Is it damaged? Do I just not wear it? Or is it just not my style anymore either? Those are the kind of things that guide me through cleaning out my closet. So now I'm going to quite literally show you guys my closet right now. The lighting is kind of bad, fair warning. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to make it as, I'm gonna try to make it happen. But yeah, time to clean out my closet. <laughs> I see the lighting is just not that great in here, but this is my closet. It's a little walk-in, sorry, it's not that visually appealing. <laughs> okay, so just a little tour right when you walk in. I have some belts hanging here. I don't really own that many belts. And sitting on top here are like always my go-to t-shirts and like long sleeves. And then this really unorganized pile right here is all tube tops and like shirts that I can't really hang up with a hanger because I only have one of these kind of hangers. And that shirt is using it. And then in these drawers I have T-shirts, leggings, workout clothes, all of that. This drawer is bras, bralettes, and sports bras. And this drawer is pajamas. And then moving over here, on top of here, I have all of like jeans. These are like a pair of joggers. There's some other joggers thrown in there. And then this drawer. I have skirts and bodysuits, and then this is like underwear and socks, and then this drawer are denim shorts. So starting off here is a lot of cropped tank tops and just tank tops in general. So I kind of have my closet organized by the length of the shirt, as you can see it like drops down and then gets into like dresses and stuff. And then also the length of the sleeves. So like these are all like my tank tops and like, but these shirts thrown in here are like cropped t-shirts cause they're all like small. Like, and then I get into like t-shirts and then back here I have like long sleeves. Um, and these snuck in here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I'm out of breath. So yeah, that's how I have that organized. 
and then all the way in this back corner I have one of these like dress hangers um, and it holds like all my fancier dresses like from date party dresses like all of that and then I have some maxi dresses jumpsuits all of that back here because it like goes all the way down to the floor and my hamper doesn't get in the way of it so they're tucked back there and then it just goes into like mini dresses I have my overalls hanging here yeah just dresses and then it goes into flannels sweaters and then gradually to jackets and that's how that organized and then down here I have all of like my go-to shoes that I'm always grabbing <laughs> like my Grex. so up here I have in this bin are bathing suits there's all my bathing suits are shoved in there that's just a duffel bag then I have all my hats stacked up right here and I got some sandals these are thigh-high boots I think I'm gonna sell these brown ones so if you like them go check them out on my Poshmark and then booties 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 sandals sandals heels 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 and yeah that's just like kind of my closet very summed up very fast <laughs> So what I kind of do when I'm like going through my closet, so I've always started off doing the backwards like hanger method where you hang your clothes, like you reset it all for the hangers to be facing the opposite way. And then as you wear your clothes and you wash them and you hang them back on the hangers then you put them on the right way. So then by the end of like whatever time period you're doing, like six months, or a year or whatever you could see what you have and have it worn and so that is what I have always done so now I look back like as I'm looking back right now I can see like these two tops I haven't worn since I probably since I moved into this apartment because I don't know when else I um, redid my hangers like this so these two tops I'm gonna be getting rid of so I go through with like the hanger method first and just look directly at all the hangers that are still backwards and then once I kind of cleared that all out then I'll go through again and look at all the clothes that are like the hangers facing normal and just look at it and be like so I've worn this but like do I really like it and should I get rid of it or just you know I'll just reevaluate it just as to go around another time. Then once I go through again and just go more in depth by looking at each individual item like regardless if the hangers turned around or not I'll just really look at it and kind of just be like is this still my style like you know kind of like how I was saying before but then when it comes to all the other stuff in my closet like my shoes and the t-shirts and everything then for those since like they don't have hangers I literally go through it all and like so I can see because especially with drawers that's why I like to hang everything up because I can visually see what I have whereas drawers like I just forget everything that's in these drawers so once I dig into these I'll probably be getting rid of a lot of stuff because I just forget about some of the things that are in there and especially like if I forget about an item then I don't need it if I forgot that I even owned it you know what I mean okay so I already got this pile going and I haven't even gone through everything so this is a good sign. I have a bit to go like I haven't even gone through um, like all of this for a second time like I'm gonna go through for a second time and just make sure I didn't miss anything but yeah she is getting cleaned out. Okay I made my pile a little bigger oh my gosh look at i have this country thunder t-shirt literally from 2013 very out of focus but i haven't been able to part with it because like that was my first country thunder and country thunder is such a big thing back home but finally i'm finally parting um but yeah expect a lot of these to be on poshmark my next step is to sort through and decide like what's goodwill what's poshmark obviously like my t-shirts like so old so obviously goodwill um or any other kind of like donation place but like things like this like this dress is brand new 
literally haven't worn it once because I forgot about it. The tag used to be on it, but I think it ripped off, but this little plastic thing is still on it. But so if you like this dress, she will be on Poshmark. But yeah, so my next steps will be sorting, but this is a pretty good pile. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I still might go through throughout the week. I know it looks like I barely even like made any progress, but I've actually added so many hangers to over here, so that's some pretty good stuff for me. And like these drawers, they're, they like open and close a lot nicer, like nothing getting in the way, you know? So everything is just less crowded and I love it. And that's kind of what I was aiming for, which is good, you know? Just gotta flush out the old and make room for the new. Or maybe if I can try to resist buying more stuff. Who knows? I probably can't. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have everything that I'm like actually selling listed on my Poshmark and it is probably, if not anything, most things are listed already um, since you've been like watching this video. So follow me on Poshmark if you see anything uh, from this video that I'm getting rid of that you would like and I'm actually doing 10% off of three items off of my Poshmark or more. So if you bundle three more items, you get 10% off. So just a little deal that I threw in there for you guys. Um, yeah, so you can shop my closet. Everything is very affordable um, from my Poshmark as well. So you're not going to break the bank because I hardly break the bank when I buy my clothes. So why would I do that to you guys, you know? Yeah, so don't forget to give subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you enjoyed this little change. Finally not a haul video. I know. Now I'm actually getting rid of clothes instead of getting clothes. Yeah. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>